Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at percents as part of the topic problem solving and data analysis. As always, we're going to be looking at five questions. We're going to explain every single one of them to find the intricacies of this topic so you can ace the SAT math portion. If you like this video to find them informative, please be sure to like and subscribe. And with that, let's get started on our first question. Here it is. An organization determined most of its sales only occurred after at least four contacts. However, 44% of its salespeople gave up on a customer after the first contact and didn't make a sale. Of the remaining salespeople, 40% gave up after the second contact. Finally, 41% of the salespeople who made a third contact gave up when that call did not make a sale. For the nearest percent, what percent of the original salespeople made four or more contacts if the first three contacts did not result in sales? Well, let's see. So if 44% of the people gave up on the customer after the first contact, that means that 56%, 56 percent remained and then after the second contact 40 percent gave up so 60 percent remained of that 56 percent and then 41 percent of the salespeople for the third contact gave up so 59 percent of that 60 percent of that 56 percent stayed so we just were taking 59 percent stayed of the 60 percent of 56 percent and that's the amount of people who stayed after the first three contacts. So that's the amount of people who made the four or more contacts. It's going to be 59% up 60% up 56%. So 0.59 times 0 0.60 times 0.56. You can use your calculator, obviously. This is calculator active. And we see that to the nearest percent. So this is going to be 19.824%. So our answer then is just going to be 20. Let's move on to the next question. All right. Next question, here it is. A company has the goal of doubling their revenue from $32 million to $64 million over the next two years. If the company increases its revenue by 50% in the first year, by approximately what percentage must the company increase their revenue in the second year in order to reach their goal? Well, if we start off with $32 million, $32 million, we can write 32E6, uh, where E is like 10 to the, the 10 to the 6, $32 million. And the increase revenue by 50%. So we multiply by 1.5 and we end up with 48E6. And that's after the first year. So after the second year, they want to get to this $64 million. So they have to increase by, so they have to increase by $16 million in the second year, which means that you have a $16 million increase when you're starting with $48 million, which is going to be one third or simply 33%. 3%. Looking at our answer choices, that is choice B, and we can move on. Question number three, here it is. A store holiday a sale has an item marked down by $10 with an additional discount of 25% off the new price. If the final price was, was $36.27, what was the original? Well, First, we have the $10 markdown, and then we have the 25% off the new price to get the final price. So the final price is 75% of the market down price. So it, we can do 36.27 divided by 0.75, which gives us the original price of $48, or not, the markdown price of $48.36. And then we add the $10 back to get $58.36. And if we want to, we can check. We can say the $58.36. We take away the $10 first, we get this. We take 25% off, we get that. So that is why this is the correct original price, which is answer choice C. And let's move on to the next question. All right, question number four. Here it is. 
Fabrizio went shopping on Tuesday and decided to purchase a pair of pants that is 15% off the regular price. If he waits and buys the pants on Wednesday, he will receive an additional 5% off. What percent would Wednesday's sell price be of the original price for the pants? Well, the original price for the pants is going to be 100% of the original, because it's the same as the original. So we can say that's going to be $100. Let's define it that way. So the 100%, $100. So whatever it ends up costing is going to be the percent, percent that it is of the original. So then we have 15% off the regular price, which is going to be $15 less or $85 now. And then we get 5% off of that price. So it's going to be 0.95 times the $85. And that's going to be $80.75. So our answer is then choice A, 81%, as it is most close to $81. And we can move on to the next question. All right, here we are. And the question is, the population of Spring, Springville is on the rise. Each year on January 1st, the town holds its own census and the population is recorded. In 2010, the town recorded a population of 12,000. The 2011 census recorded a 5% increase in the 2010 population, and the 2012 census recorded a 7% increase from in the 2011 population. By how many people did the population of Springville increase over the two-year period? Well, we started with 12,000 people in 2010. And then we can multiply by 1.05 to get to the new people in 2011. And that's going to be 12,600 people. And then we multiply that by 1.07. 1.07 to get population in 2012, which is 13,482. And then we do the 13,482 divided by this, divided by the 12,000, and uh, we get, or actually, let's, re let's actually look at the question first. Probably a good idea. They're asking us how many people did the population of Springville increase over the two year period? We're not asking us for the percent increase as I originally assumed. Right? That's why we don't need to divide this. And if we did divide it, then we'd find the percent increase, but that's not what they're asking us for. It's asking us for how many more people did Springville have over the two-year period. So we just subtract this, subtract it, and we get 1,482 people. And our answer is then going to be choice D, choice D, and we're done. All right, so as you can see in this topic, the main idea is just applying the percentages Right, really the only two, the, the two key ideas that you just have to remember here are that percentages, uh, uh, increase in percentage is 100% plus that. So a 5% increase is 1.05 and a 5% decrease is 100% minus that or, or 0 0.95. And then you can apply those to whatever you, you have to begin with and you'll be done with percents. See you later.